Wednesday Wonders, it's Ranger Erin, and today's lesson is going to be about the difference between moles, voles, and shrews. Because all three of them are underground, we don't get to see them a whole lot, and some of them even have names that rhyme, so it's kind of hard to tell them apart what's going on with those three different animals. We're going to start first with my favorite, the mole. So the mole is this weird creature who kind of has this body that is made for being underground. You notice that it has a long pointy nose that's going to help it to move through the dirt. And probably you notice those giant hands, right? So they have these hands that are kind of like, almost like swimming paddles. And the way that they move through the dirt is they just kind of swim through the dirt, if you can imagine that. And you've probably noticed a bunch of mole hills around or mole tunnels. Well, they are insectivores. They're going to be eating lots and lots of worms and bugs and all different types of creepy crawlies that are going to be living under the dirt. And that's what those tunnels are made for. So they have their home tunnels, which are way deeper and a lot stronger, but most of their day is spent swimming through the dirt, making these extra trap tunnels. And so they have these extra tunnels where this mole will be nearby kind of waiting and then a worm is going to break through and fall into that tunnel and that mole is going to sense it, it's going to feel it, and it's going to scurry over and chomp, bite that worm's head off. It might gobble the whole worm whole, or it might save a little bit for later. But it's just going to have to make all these lots and lots of tunnels. They're kind of loners, so they're not going to be sharing their territory with any of the other moles. There's just going to be one mole, and it's probably going to make a lot, a lot of tunnels, which is going to be great for our prairies and our forests because that's going to open up that soil a little bit and they're going to eat a lot of bugs so they're an important part of our ecosystem. We're going to skip over voles for a second and we're going to talk about shrews now. So our shrews, you notice they kind of have that same pointy face and they are kind of related to our moles. They're their own thing, they're shrews but they're gonna be related and they're gonna have a lot in common with their moles. So they're also gonna be moving underground and you kind of notice that their body was very tube shaped. Their whole body is made for being underground. So their body is the shape of a tunnel. And they're also gonna be that insectivore, but they've got something else special going on. So a lot of our shrews are gonna be venomous. That means that they have something in their teeth that's gonna paralyze or kill their prey. It's not harmful to humans at all, but you better believe to all those little insects and maybe even a small mouse or two, they better beware by the venom in that shrew's mouth. Now our moles, they also had kind of pointy sharp teeth, but our shrews have kind of long pointy sharp teeth. So they kind of have this mouth full of daggers. Again, not really dangerous to humans, but to their prey, beware. And last off, we're gonna talk about our voles. So those voles look way different. Those voles, even though they're an underground burrower, they're not related to the moles. They're not related to the shrews. They're related to rodents. You kind of noticed it looked a lot like a mouse and some people do mistake them for mice. And unlike that mole and that shrew, they're gonna be herbivores. So they live underground, but they're not looking for bugs. They're not looking for worms. They're looking for plant roots. So they like those tree roots and they'll nibble on those tree roots with their big ol' incisors and they will eat all of the grass roots and things like that. And again, really good for those forest and those, uh, those prairie ecosystems because it opens up that space and it spreads some of their, their manure around which is going to feed those trees. So even if they're eating on them, they're actually helping them in the long run. When you go out looking for your molehills, on your mole hike today, you might want to choose to go to an area with some mown grass. Because sometimes it's a little bit easier to see it than in the inside of a forest or in a big tall prairie. So that mown grass, moles absolutely love it. It makes it a little bit easier on them. You might find a big mound right here. That's kind of where they pop up out of the ground. And then that long tunnel snaking out from that. That's one of those trap tunnels. That's where they're trying to catch all those insects. And their real tunnels, their home tunnels, are much, much deeper where it's safer and you couldn't collapse it. Like I can press on this and push that tunnel down. For our 
our craft today, we're going to be making finger puppets. Kind of like that shrew has that tube shaped body and that mole, a little bit of the same thing. This one's already made. You can see I put big sharp teeth just like the shrew has. And then we're going to make this mole one. So you're going to start off, you'll need some coloring utensils, glue, scissors, and paper. Now I've already got my shapes cut out, so I've got a big square. We're going to roll that into a tube and glue that together. You'll also need a face. And then for my mole, I've got big old hands. So starting off with that big square piece after you've got it all colored in and cut out, I'm going to glue one end and roll it and just hold that together just for a moment until it sticks. So now we've got the body for our finger puppet. And we can add the head. And the hands. Now I've got a mole finger puppet as well as a shrew finger puppet. And they can pop up out of the ground just like those creatures do. Thanks for joining me. I'll see y'all next time.